So in this video, I'm going to go over the basics of cutting. You've got your design here in easel and you are ready to come out here, get cutting. You've got everything pretty much how you want it. And so where do you start? Where do you put the bit? What do the settings mean? And so forth. So we're just going to review them real quick and hopefully this will help anybody that has any of these in question. The first thing that I recommend always is to check and double check and if you have to triple check the size of the board as what you told the size of the board that you have on the machine or in the, in the software. That is so important because your software is going to tell this machine to move on your board based on what you told it you have. If you don't have that same thickness, it's going to, who knows what it's going to do. It may go higher, it may go lower. Um, just all kind of weird things can happen and you can also damage the machine. So just double check and triple check. 10 inches by two and a half exactly by three quarters inch exactly. If it is off in any way, definitely do your modifications. And then when you do, your software will readjust itself for the bits and make sure that everything's gonna be right. Second is the bit. Make sure that you are gonna put in the correct bit that you've chosen. I have here a 1 8 inch up cut, which is the most common one that I use. So I'm going to go ahead and put this bit in. If I can get it in there. And I'm going to turn it down. Make sure she's pretty snug. It doesn't I don't have to overkill it. Make sure it's good. And so I have my eighth inch bit. So now I have adjusted everything, or I've put the bit in here, made sure this is correct. So technically I'm ready to cut. So before we cut, I wanna show you something. When you go to carve, it wants you to set your bit where it needs to be before it starts to carve. It's gonna confirm the thickness and everything. So I'm just gonna run that by you real quick. So I'm going to move this to the left side here and I'm going to enlarge this so you can see everything that I'm doing. So the, what we're going to do is I want you to understand, let me get a, uh, let me get a bigger bit here to show you and let me get another board. This one's fine I guess. So <clears throat> your bit needs to be at the leftmost corner of your board. If you look at your software. Do you see right here? Let me move this over, move this here. This zero zero point right here is exactly the zero zero point here that this software thinks this bit is going to be at. So when you go to start it, if your bit is not dead center of this board or dead center of this corner, it's going to just completely mess your design up. And what I mean by that is, I'm trying to see if you can see it here. Is if you can see that dead smack, is going to be dead center of this bit. So it's going to be halfway this way. It's going to be halfway this way. So when I when it's looking here, you're going to want your bit to be, see that's dead center of my drill bit? So it's going to be, it's going to be right there. And then the same thing this way. You're going to want it dead center this way, right smack on that corner. And that is your zero point for your X and Y axis. That is very, very important. Also, your Z axis zero point is just so your bit is just barely resting on top of your board. So I'm gonna go over that with you real quick. Let's go ahead and move the, uh, the camera over again and let's move our bit down. So I'm gonna go ahead and move my bit here. I wouldn't jump to the one. Um, just because you don't want it to jump real far real fast. So you just want to move it over. We're going to move it. And so, what went way too far, didn't I? I'm going to move my Z down just so I can get it close enough to compare. So if it's moving too much, you want to click the 0 0.01 and I'm going to raise my bit up a bit because I don't want it dragging and we're going to move it over and I like turning my bit so the bit is facing the the uh, 
the, the flutes are facing this way so that I can see that that board is going straight up halfway of my bit, dead center. So that's actually pretty perfect right there. So now I have to come forward to this side of it. So I'm going to go ahead and keep coming down. And again, I'm going to turn it axis. So I have my, I have my X axis correct. Now I'm going to do my Y axis. I'm going to move it down some more. A little too far. If I move my camera and show you, it's going to mess it all up. But what I did was I basically my bit right here is dead smack center of this. So it's, it's it's halfway this way. It's halfway this way. Dead on the corner. So now my x and my y axis is set perfect. Um, so that is exactly where you want it because your software. If you, I'm going to move my camera again. Your software thinks this zero point right here is where your bit is. And it's imperative that your bit is right there. If you start it over here, it's going to, by the time it gets to the middle of your cut, it's going to be all the way over here. Or if you start it here, it's going to be messed up. It doesn't know to go here, so that's where you need to put it on the leftmost corner of your board. Because that zero spot is where it thinks you're going to start from. So you need to start from there. Now. One other thing is your z-axis, which is equally important. If you don't have your z-axis perfectly flat on your board, then when it goes to lift up and come back down and cut, it's either, if it's too far up, it's going to be not touching the board. And if you have it starting over here lower, it's going to dig so hard in your board that it's either going to mess it up, break a bit, or damage your equipment, and you don't want that. So one thing that I uh, recommend, and a lot of people will tell you, is... Um, using a piece of paper so I have my little sticky notes of course I have tons of these and I like taking one of them and basically slide a piece of paper under it see it freely goes underneath of that no no drag no problem whatsoever so in your software you're gonna click the Z down I'm gonna move it up just so you'll see here you're gonna click the Z down until it starts to drag on this paper so just do one at a time and only go a real little bit because you don't want to jam your bit into the board. And there it is. See, if you can hear that, it's actually dragging on it now. If I go down one more, I'm stuck. Okay, I'm going to come back up and now I'm right on it. So that is your zero point for your Z axis. It's your zero point for your, for your X and your Y axis. And that is exactly where you need to start your software. So when you tell your machine, okay, I'm ready to go. It, your machine thinks, okay, I'm going to assume he has everything at the 0.0, .0 point. So that's where I'm going to go from. And that's really important. This is imperative to line it up before you cut. So let's just go ahead and, 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 and start it, even though I'm not going to actually cut this, but I want you to see to just to go through the steps. So now we've got that. We've got our drawing. We've got our design. What do we do? So let's click carve. And it's basically going to come up and ask you to confirm your thickness, which we have. Um, I've done that. We don't need to jog the machine because I already have it set at my Z or at my zero point, which I always prefer to do that first and make sure that I can get where I need to get to. And by the way, I only have one clamp on here just for example purposes. You definitely want more than one clamp. So we will uh, click. We confirmed our material thickness. We definitely have it clamped down. And do we have the 8 inch up cut? I sure do I have everything there and then it's going to confirm the bit size and then your position. So we, we are not going to use our last position because it doesn't have no clue what our last position is. We are going to use a new position. We're going to click that. So now it's going to think, which we told it, how far this is down and where it's set is exactly the zero point and it absolutely is. So basically what you would do is you would choose raise bit. And what it does is it raises the bit up because it already knows if you chose zero, it's pretty much resting on that board a little bit. And it doesn't want to turn it on while it's resting on the board because it would you know, damage the board or the bit or whatever. So it's lifting it up. It's going to turn the spindle on, and then it's going to start the carve. So here we would turn the spindle on. I'm going to start it and then stop it real quick. But here we would turn the spindle on. We've got to tell it the spindle is on, and we just click carve. And now it's actually going to go and start carving. However, so, here you go. So I'm going to stop that. 
So as you can see, it knew, it only started taking a little bit out just like I wanted, and it um, was pretty much gonna cut perfect. And so it moved it right back over to the zero point where we had it, and that's pretty much it. Then you just carve away and you go on. The only other thing I would say to watch for is, um, if you look at my design here, I'm gonna, let me, let me move this out. If you look at my design, the only other thing you want to be careful of is that your brackets are not in the way of your bit path. So sometimes I like to go to a little bit bigger board just to make sure my brackets are out of the way because you don't want your bit hitting it. So anyway, that's pretty much it for the basics of the beginning and I hope that helps anyone to know the placement and getting started. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Jungle.